Hello everybody, Chandler Fry here and welcome to my In The Bag. I am stoked to show you what I have in here. I am brand new to the team and I have some gems. Let's get it. First off, I gotta talk about the actual bag. I'm using the Octothorpe from Pound. Plenty of space for my discs, towels, jackets. Of course, I gotta get a couple whale sacks in there. Colorways, you can customize, it's fantastic. And onto my putting putters. I'm excited about these. This is the P-Blend Myth from Infinite Discs. This will actually be my Tour Series disc with Infinite for the year. I've never had a putter as a Tour Series disc. It's nice and deep for the big-handed people out there. The P-Blend is nice and sticky, nice and stiff. It's a good feeling disc, good stability. I used to putt with the Challenger OS. So I wanted something that would finish hard left at the end of its flight. And I found that in these P-Blend Myth from Infinite. Check it out, great feeling disc. I'm in love with it. Just like everybody else on the team, I'm throwing the Praxis. A great A to B flyer. I carry three in my bag. I like to warm up with these, play catch, throw a couple soft shots at the practice basket. Just throw it at the basket, nice straight flight with a slight right finish. Check them out, Praxis, Thought Space, great disc. One of the newest discs in my bag. This is the Alpha Discs Theos. I was looking for a practice that had some more stability to it. Great feeling disc, flies straight, left finish, consistent, beadless, with uh, of course the Eric Oakley on there. Got to support my buddies, you know. This was given to me by a buddy of mine back in Olympia, Washington, Preston Boyd. This is a Heiser Bomb Mortar. I had not thrown one until like a month ago but I was looking for something super overstable, consistent, didn't have to think about it when I threw it. I just wanted to go right with the forehand and left with the backhand, and I found it in the Heiser Bomb Mortar. This is glow plastic, good all around disc. Next up, we got my Nerve Temple. I usually don't like really soft discs, but this one just felt good in the hand. I use it for soft little side arms to the basket, soft little approaches, nothing over 200 feet. I actually got my first Thought Space Ace with this a few weeks ago in Pensacola. My friends call it the Nerf disc because it's very soft, but they are coming out with a premium plastic temple. Great disc, good feeling, plastic. Yeah. All right, on to the mid ranges. I was a big Comet thrower when I was with Discraft, so I was looking for something to fill that slot. And I found it in my Eric Oakley Ethos Pathfinders. I was kind of expecting more stability out of these things, but I actually played a few rounds with Eric in Pensacola, and he taught me how to throw them. These are kind of flippy, but that's what I was looking for. Put it on a little hyzer, it'll pop up flat, finish nice and right. Or you can throw it with some hyzer, pop up flat, finish left. It's a good all around disc, point and shoot. Cool looking stamp on there, which is always a plus. So check out the Ethos Pathfinder, preferably with Eric Oakley's name on it. And here is my favorite disc in the bag, added three days ago. This is my Nebula Ethereal Pathfinder. This has a bit more stability, a bit more integrity than the Ethos ones. On the backhand hyzer, it'll finish out nice and left, but not too left. Still a pretty straight flying disc. And that plastic, it looks so good. The back looks good too. And also, it's got Channel on there, so I like it a little bit more. Next up, we got the Ursus. This is the most overstable disc in my bag. I use it for just chop sidearms, flex shots, spike hyzers. This is from Terminal Velocity. This is the only disc I know of that they make, but I'm sure they make more. Erica Stinchcomb actually gave me this one to try out last year, going into the off season, and I fell in love with it. It's consistent, it feels good, and it's also good for glow rounds if you want to get that glow plastic in there. On to fairways. This disc is a glow votum. I call it a glowdom for short, just to save some time. This is probably the coolest disc that I currently have in my bag. It was given to me by Paul, who's one of the workers, uh, one of the main guys at Thought Space, whose nickname is Mr. Nintendo. Great feeling disc, good for those hyzer to pop flat to finish left. Next up is the Ethos Coalesce. I only use it for one shot in my bag, and that's that flip up to flat 400 foot right finish sidearm. 
really consistent with that shot. I'm loving it. I'm looking forward to trying out some new shots with it, but as of right now, it's just that sidearm disc. On to my favorite disc in my bag, the Halo S-Blend Eric Oakley Dynasty. Not only is it beautiful, which does matter to me, I think prettier discs fly better. It is the most consistent flyer I have in my bag. If I'm looking for 450, just dead straight, this is the disc. Put on a little hyzer pop-up flat, and it'll finish nice and straight down the fairway. And also, support my boy Eric Oakley again. I feel like a lot of my discs have EO on them, but that's okay. Gotta support your friends. Probably the prettiest disc in my bag, this is the Aura Omen. This was dyed for me by Diverse Disc Dyes, and he nailed it. This thing is beef. You can smell the brisket on it. I thought for those sidearm flex shots, spy hyzers if I need a bit more distance. All right, flippy boy. This is my mantra in some kind of cool looking plastic. I think it's ethereal, something rather. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm new to the team. It's flippy. It's easy to roll. It's good for those side arms if you want to just pan out way left on an Anheuser. It's a good utility disc. If you want to learn how to roll, get a mantra. This is the way to go. All right, on to the faster discs. The Animus. If you don't have one of these in your bag, get on it. This thing is money. Speed 11. It kind of replaces that surge slot that I had in my bag last year. This will be my signature disc with Thought Space. As the Chanimus, I am super excited. Can't wait to show you guys how this flies on coverage this year. This is the James Proctor Conqueror. I got this from Eric Oakley's stash in Pensacola just because it looked good and it turned out to fly really good as well. This thing is a beefcake and it's speed 13, I believe, so it is fast. I know James doesn't even bag these because they're too much for him, but you know, you gotta work on those arms, James. Put on a little Anheuser, pop it up, finish nice and hard to the left. Consistent, fantastic. Check it out, support James Proctor. Now on to my Emperor. This is the EO Halo S-Blend Emperor. These things bomb. This thing has a nice little hyzer flip to it, always finishes left, but consistent 500 plus flyer. If you're looking for something that's easy to handle, but fast, check out the Emperors. This is the same mold, I call this one cotton candy, but it's a little less beefy than the Conqueror, but pretty close to it. So if I'm looking for those big flex shots in the open or sometimes in the trees, I go to this one. If I'm looking for more of a right to left finish instead of just straight left, I go with this one. Great discs, good, feeling good in the hand, nice and fast. Pretty wide rim, so you gotta have some big hands for it, but I know you guys can handle it. Trash Panda Mini, gotta support small businesses. I know they're working on some discs right now. Check out Trash Panda and Jesse. Cool people doing cool things. I'll be using this mini all year. And some dirt. So there's the discs in my bag. For now, I'm still new to the team, so I'm sure there's gonna be quite a few changes as the year progresses. Uh, check in halfway through the year for an update. Uh, thank you all, and thanks for the support. I look forward to seeing you out on the road.